More than four decades ago, a small spacecraft named Voyager 1 left Earth on a mission that many considered a long shot, an ambitious leap into the unknown. Its goal was to journey farther than any human-made object had ever gone before. When I do, it lifted off in 1977. Few could have imagined just how far it would travel, or the mind-bending discoveries it would one day return to us. What began as a planetary exploration mission has become one of the most remarkable odysseys in the history of science and space travel. Since its launch, Voyager 1 has traveled billions upon billions of kilometers, venturing beyond the planets, crossing the distant reaches of the solar system, and ultimately entering regions of space that no spacecraft had ever touched. It's gone far beyond the known and comfortable limits we once believed enclosed our cosmic neighborhood. And now, over 47 years later, Voyager 1 continues its silent voyage into interstellar space, sending back data that is not only surprising, but deeply puzzling. Data that may force us to rewrite the very rules of what we understand about the universe. Voyager 1's most recent transmission has scientists buzzing with shock and curiosity. At the very edge of our solar system, in a region known as the Heliopause, it has recorded something completely unexpected. This area, the outermost frontier of our solar system, marks the boundary where the solar wind from our sun gives way to the thin gases and magnetic fields of interstellar space. It is here, at this invisible but critical border, that Voyager 1 has made what some researchers are calling an impossible discovery. To understand the significance of this, we have to go back to the mission's early purpose. Voyager 1 was originally designed to observe and gather data on the giant outer planets, Jupiter and Saturn. It succeeded spectacularly, returning high-resolution images, detecting new moons, observing the dynamics of the planet's atmospheres, and giving humanity its first detailed look at these distant worlds. But after that phase of its mission ended, Voyager 1 didn't stop. It kept going, plunging deeper into the vast, dark expanse of space. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed a critical milestone. It passed through the heliopause, becoming the first human-made object to exit the solar system and officially enter interstellar space. At that moment, it left behind the last traces of the sun's dominant influence and ventured into the great unknown. It became, quite literally, an ambassador from Earth to the stars. But now, long after crossing that historic boundary, Voyager 1 has detected something no one anticipated. It has recorded strange fluctuations in the magnetic field, vibrations and anomalies that appear to ripple through the emptiness of interstellar space. This is astonishing because the region beyond the heliopause was long thought to be relatively stable in terms of magnetic activity. Instead, Voyager 1 has revealed a strange, dynamic environment, one filled with mysterious fluctuating signals. These fluctuations shouldn't be happening. According to existing models, the magnetic field that exists beyond the heliosphere should be smooth and relatively constant. But what Voyager is picking up tells a different story one that suggests some unknown form of activity or influence is acting on this boundary region. Scientists are beginning to theorize that these signals could represent a previously unidentified kind of energy, or even indicate that deep space itself is more active and interconnected than we ever realized. Some of the most intriguing theories propose that this phenomenon might be the result of interactions between our solar system and forces originating far beyond it. It's as if the edge of the heliosphere is being nudged, compressed, or disrupted by something outside, by invisible waves or cosmic currents that we've never before had the ability to observe. The signals Voyager 1 is detecting are weak, yet persistent. They show patterns, repetitions, that seem to hint at a greater structure or rhythm in the cosmos. One particularly fascinating idea is that the heliopause might be responding to energy streams coming from within the Milky Way galaxy, possibly from neighboring stars, or even from some unknown source far beyond. These could be the result of massive stellar winds, ancient supernova remnants, or other phenomena that stretch across vast interstellar distances. If true, it could mean that our solar system is not an isolated island, but part of a much larger and interconnected galactic system. Imagine energy flows or magnetic bridges, 
that link distant regions of the galaxy, creating an invisible web that connects solar systems and star clusters. Voyager 1 may be giving us the first clues of such a structure. If these currents exist, we are witnessing a connection between our Sun and the rest of the galaxy that science has only speculated about until now. This could dramatically alter our understanding of how energy and matter interact across cosmic distances. Some researchers are even beginning to speak of a possible energy grid that spans the galaxy, a structure that transmits cosmic forces and perhaps even information. If Voyager 1 is detecting part of this structure, it means we are taking our first steps toward understanding a fundamental aspect of the universe's architecture. What if stars are not just isolated points of light, but active participants in a vast galactic system of energy exchange? What if the space between them is alive with forces we've only just begun to detect? For all its achievements, Voyager 1 is a relic of 1970s engineering. Its instruments are primitive by today's standards. It operates with a memory capacity smaller than a modern wristwatch, and its communication systems are painfully slow. Yet despite its age and distance now over 23 billion kilometers away, it continues to send back priceless data, operating on the very limits of what we thought was technologically possible. Each signal it transmits is a whisper from a frontier we can barely comprehend, and it continues to outperform all expectations. These discoveries are not just scientific curiosities, they are a call to action. They inspire new generations of engineers and scientists to dream bigger and reach farther. Voyager 1's success reminds us that even the most modest spacecraft can become legends if given the chance. Its journey pushes humanity to envision new missions. Craft built not just to reach interstellar space but to thrive in it. It's no longer just about exploring planets. It's about exploring the space between stars, the fabric of the galaxy itself. Prominent figures in space exploration have taken notice. Elon Musk, a leading visionary in the field, has expressed deep interest in Voyager 1's findings. He has called the recent discovery a wake-up call for humanity. For Musk, this isn't just about scientific curiosity. It's a call to accelerate the development of interstellar-capable spacecraft. In his view, the data from Voyager could serve as the spark that finally propels us into a new era of exploration, one that ventures beyond the solar system and into the broader galaxy. This also brings us to one of the most profound questions of all. Could life exist beyond our solar system? If there are unknown forces interacting at the edge of the heliosphere, could they somehow be connected to life-supporting environments elsewhere in the galaxy? While we have no direct evidence yet, these signals open the door to speculation. We can't rule out the possibility that biological or even intelligent processes could be at work on scales we do not yet understand. It may sound like science fiction, but every new discovery pushes that boundary closer to science fact. Each piece of data Voyager 1 sends back is another clue in humanity's greatest mystery. It has become not only a scientific instrument, but a symbol of our eternal quest for knowledge. Its journey reminds us of our place in the universe, a small planet orbiting an ordinary star, yet bold enough to send emissaries into the dark. Although Voyager 1 will one day fall silent, its legacy will continue. The questions it has raised, and the discoveries it has made, will shape space science for generations to come. We now understand that we are part of something far greater than we ever imagined. There are forces beyond the heliosphere, beyond the reach of our sun, that are waiting to be discovered. What else is out there? What secrets remain in the cold, quiet void? Voyager 1 has shown us that the spirit of exploration is alive, and, well, and that the next great discovery may already be on its way.